hello everyone and welcome to ocean cadence today we will be undertaking the topic of safeties in the starting airline system that is the safeties that have been incorporated in the starting air system for the main engine it is easy to understand that starting air system as a whole in main engine can have a few occasions of mishap for instance over pressurization due to choking for instance backflash in the form of flame or combustible materials that enter into the starting air line or through the starting air wall because of faulty opening incorrect timing or incorrect operation all of this will lead to an explosive environment due to the available of ample air at a combustible temperature within the starting air lines and the system and the moment any combustible material in the form of fuel is added to the source or heat is added to the source it can lead to starting air line explosion this is a very important term starting air line explosion and all these safeties are incorporated into the system to prevent any steps that can lead to starting airline explosion predominantly in man b and w engines bursting disc has been incorporated into the system the design of bursting disc is so arranged that a sacrificial piece is sandwiched between two flanges one end of a flange is connected to the stub pipe that is connected to the main line that is the main starting air line while the other end is leading to a cover that has a perforated disc within itself in between this is sandwich the bursting disc which upon over pressurization of the line or the manifold will burst and allow the air to escape through the perforated surface the perforated surface is so arranged that the air flow is always directed away from the engine and away from the possible places that the user or any individual can stand it has to be remembered that bursting disc is a sacrificial piece that is this system does not have a redundancy that once the bursting disc bursts there is no other contingency for it so how do we make sure that even if the bursting disc has burst and the problem has been resolved and if we do not have a affiliated spare how do we run the engine in that case as we can see in the diagram the perforated disc is covered with a complete cover which is locked in place with the wing nut this assembly including the wing nut can be used to turn to turn the cover by turning the cover we change the relative position of the open tail tail and the open surface with respect to the inside perforated disc and by doing so we can momentarily slower or lower the flow of air that is escaping through this surface and by doing so we can make sure that enough air is available in the line to give a starting kick to the engine it is also to be understood that the bursting disc and is a pressure dependent mechanism that is it depends the bursting of this particular disc depends on high pressure pulsations that is upon the accumulation of pressure this disc will burst so it has less to do with the temperature and more to do with the pressure variation in the starting air line similarly moving on to another safety item that is incorporated in the man b and w engines specifically the flame arrester the flame arrester is a device it's which in simple terms does not allow any flame or combustible gases in their heated or their burn form to get back into the starting air line and cause any source of combustion for the starting air line to explode as you can see the flame arrester is nothing 
but a disc or a pipe that has small perforated holes in n number inside itself what this does is that if suppose due to a leaky starting air wall the combustion products or the burning products from inside the unit have found its way into the initial piping of the starting air system the hot combustion or the burning combustion gases when passing through the flame arrester in the reverse direction will find the air flow or the air stream that is the stream of the gases being subdivided into several smaller streams by doing so these streams that is the these perforated these perforated holes cool down the combustion gases and the burning products and by doing so the heat is drawn away and the source is quenched that means once those hot combustion gases or the burning gases will escape the flame arrester they will no longer be in the in the state of heat and combustion because all the heat energy has been drawn away by subdividing them into a number of flow patterns so the ignition source that can further go and trigger a starting airline explosion of any magnitude in the starting air uh, manifold has been withdrawn these after these two let us focus on one of the important starting airline safeties that is often found in the sulzer engines a relief valve assembly is often incorporated in the sulzer engine this relief valve is usually for engines having bore less than 500 mm one in number whereas if the engines are of bigger size than that that is more than 500 mm bore there can be two relief valve on the line the relief valve if two in number will often be arranged in such a way that one relief valve is present on the either end of the engine thereby relieving the pressure in a distributed and balanced manner much like the other relief valves that is you that are used in the uh, other places on board a vessel the working is very simple that is the cover incorporates the spring and the spring pushes down the disc that is sitting on the seat this spring has a preset tension that is a preset compressive force is being put on the disc which is sitting on the seat once the pressure within the starting air manifold or the starting air line exceeds this predetermined pressure that is exerted the air would be allowed to escape by the lifting of this valve disc and once the disc is lifted the air would vent out safely in a direction because the starting air uh, line relief valve is so arranged that the location is generally on the back side of the engine so as to make sure that it causes no harm to the user standing by near the engine so the air pressure would be so liberated out that the air vents and blows away from the engine bringing by bringing by the starting air pressure within the manifold and the starting air system back to normal usually the relief valve setting as we know can be set at a gradual uh, distance of 10% from the normal assumed value of the starting air manifold that is the 30 bar distinct pressure however different manufacturers can depending upon the size volume and the capacity of the starting air manifold and the line and the system have different preset values of this particular assembly i hope that this video is helpful to you in here by understanding the different safeties that are incorporated in the starting air system and individual understanding of each of these components please make sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel to be up to date with the further encouraging and interesting stuff that we update on our youtube channel thank you everyone